Indeed, with the grace of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has blessed us with the opportunity to come together in his house and celebrate the mawlid, the birth of our beloved Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala accept our presence, accept our praise, and accept our celebration and remembrance, and make it a means for our forgiveness on the day of judgment. Ameen, summa, ameen. The reason 
behind us celebrating the birth of our beloved Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. You can say one of the reasons as to why we come together and celebrate and be happy upon this occasion is because our beloved Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam is the greatest favor that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has bestowed us with. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has said in the Holy Quran, Surah Yunus, That O my beloved Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, tell them, tell the people, that whenever Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala bestows upon them His grace, and whenever He bestows upon them His mercy, then in return they should celebrate. And this indeed is better than what they have collected. So when Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala bestows upon us His favor and His mercy, then in return He expects us to be happy and accepts us, accept, expects us to, to celebrate. And indeed, He has bestowed us with many favors. They are numerous and we cannot count them. He has blessed us with many mercies. But the Prophet وسلم, is the greatest favor and the greatest mercy that He has bestowed upon us. And he says that indeed that I have done a great favor upon the believers that I have raised from among them a messenger. Oh my beloved, we have not sent you but as a mercy for the whole of the universe. So the Prophet وسلم, without a doubt <coughs> It's the greatest favor and the greatest mercy that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has ever sent. And another reason why we celebrate this occasion is so that we can revive our love for our beloved Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. It is so that we express and enlighten our hearts with the love of our beloved Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Because loving the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam is the essence of Iman, is the essence of faith. And a person's faith is incomplete until he does not love the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam more than anything. As the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said, لا يؤمن وحدكم حتى أكون أحب إليه من والده وولده والناس يجمعين your faith is incomplete until you do not love the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam more than your fathers, more than your children and more than anyone in this world. Your faith remains incomplete until you do not love the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam more than these things. And we know from the famous incident of Hazrat Umar ibn Hattab radiallahu ta'ala that he said, Ya Rasulallah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, I love you. More than anything in this world apart from myself. And the Prophet said, Oh Umar, your faith is incomplete until you do not love me more than yourself. And then Hazrat Umar ibn Hattab replied, Ya Rasulullah, I love you more than myself as well. And then the Prophet said, Now Umar, your faith is, faith is complete. And this is just one incident. And the Prophet Wasallam's love that the companions had for him was immense. We see that once someone asked Hazrat Ali ibn Abi Talib that how much did the Sahaba, how much did the companions love the Prophet Wasallam? And he said that we used to love the Prophet Wasallam. He was more dearer to, to us than our wealth, our fathers and our children. And he was more dearer and beloved to us that even in extreme heat, if we receive